Hello and welcome to this new section. So in this section we are going to discuss about what is array as abstract data types. So we have seen in our previous module that what are uh, types of array means static array and dynamic array and uh, we have seen the fundamental concept how to define an array, what is the need of an array. We have seen all these things. Now what do you mean by abstract data types? Means array as abstract data types. Abstract, I just define a definition. You should know that, that abstract means just we are uh, there to discuss about a functionality. We just mean to add a functionality. We are not meant to do anything in detail. Let us suppose in display method, I should take a display method. I just write there is an array. Let us suppose A is an array. So A is, a, a is your array as ADT means array as abstract data type. We just write this display function and then automatically our elements in the array are displayed. We are not there to see the functionality. Okay. We just write, similarly, we just write a dot, it's not a dot or we can say that add some element in an array, a dot add an element, whatever element it is. Let us suppose the element is 5 or 4. Okay. 5 or 4, we can do in this way. Okay, we can do it in this way. We are not considering about the functionality inside it. This is the most important concept for your programming practice where the functionality concern. This, this is a process how you can able to make algorithms which can be used for your specific functionality. In your interview questions, in your interview questions, it is most important and frequently asked that how can you define app array as abstract data types? What do you mean by array as abstract data types? Just you need to know that we just don't care about the in, uh, intended functionality. We just want to put it like just we want to display the method and just fetching the results so that we cannot waste our time on the predefined logic of this thing. So when you come into abstract data types, when you are solving high level problems, high coding problems, it is very important for you to understand these concepts. Okay. If you want to master in data structures and algorithm, this concept should be known and we will see how we can create these functions. In detail, in the next videos, we will display each and individual functionality, how we can create array as abstract data types. Another concept I want to make it like array needs three properties. Array needs three properties. First, the declaration. Second is your size, the complete size that you predefined. Three is your length that in the within, within that size, how much length it occupies. Let me make it understand in pictorial. So let us suppose this is an array. Okay. And uh, we have defined one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five. So five elements, array of, array of five elements it is. Okay. So let us suppose it's in capital A array. Okay. And then it contains some element. Its size, let me first define the size. The size is five. Okay. But it contains three elements like three, five, and seven. So what is the length of this array? Length is three. 
लेंथ डिपेक्ट्स द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स इन अ गिवन एरे ओके वी नीड थ्री थिंग्स डिक्लेरेशन साइज एंड लेंथ सो हाउ कैन वी एबल टू डिफाइन वॉट इज अ गुड प्रोग्रामिंग प्रैक्टिस लाइक वी हैव टू मेथड वी हैव सीन फॉर डिक्लेयरिंग एन एरे वी हैव सीन द मेथड लाइक स्टैटिस्टिकल डेफिनेशन स्टैटिक डिक्लेरेशन एंड अनदर इज डायनेमिक डिक्लेरेशन so what you mean in this way you can define an array size prior so you cannot take an input like you just uh, see out uh, in uh, enter the size and then you are assigning the size like this like you you take an input c in n and you thought that we can define in this way it is completely wrong it is completely wrong declaration you can do this thing in this part like in the pointers concept because it is dynamic star a is equal to new int of n you can do in this dynamic declaration but you cannot do in this way you can only assign the size prior like 10 because it is static at the compile time okay and this is dynamic at the run time it will assign so this method will fail so what do, what do you mean that what do you mean is a good programming practice dynamic or static if you want to perform the abstract data types concept obviously dynamic okay so now you can understand the concept of dynamic declaration that is why i have not teach you in the first place now you can understand the concept of dynamic declaration obviously my students are, might ask and your interviewer is always asking this question that what is a good programming practice if either to use static statistical declaration or dynamic declaration okay now you are be prepared with this we'll see the uh, next section how these operation works how can we define actually define the structure okay so that you can understand the concept very well okay and we define a customized array how can we define a user defined array okay in order to make you understand this concept better okay so this is it for this section we'll see you in the next happy data structures